Hello everyone, this is Engineer Angelo Pia Signacion and I will be your course coordinator for Signal Spectra and Signal Processing. For this video, I will be discussing the lectures from weeks 1 to 4. Let us first describe the difference between analog and digital signals. So analog signals are continuous, so they look like this. They are continuous in, in their graph, while digital signals are discrete. So it means they, uh, we can count how many levels a digital signal has. So another one for analog, it, ha it, is, uh, infinite. it has infinite range of values. It means that if we count the possible numbers, possible number of values here, so that is not possible because it is infinite so there are so many possible values for analog while in digital so we can count how many levels a digital signal can have so here one two three four five six seven and eight levels so analog signals are also more exact in values analog signals or analog values are expressed in many decimal places for example 10.123456.7 when you convert that to digital so it could only be 10.1 or 10.2 so in that manner analog signals are more exact than digital signals to continue so these are examples of analog signals so a sine wave is an example of analog signal also a rectangular wave and some periodic or random wave like our voice is, a, is an analog signal. So let us go to the parts of an analog signal. So this analog signal is um, a periodic signal. So it means that this signal repeats over a period of time. So if a signal repeats over a period of time, it is called a periodic signal. A periodic signal has uh, some parts, so this one is peak, so from 0 to positive value is peak. When you count the peak from uh, positive to negative, it, uh, it is called peak-to-peak -peak value or amplitude. And the time when the signal will repeat, so in here our signal repeat after this one, then it will repeat again. So the time before a signal repeats is called the period. And the frequency is just the reciprocal of period. So let us move to examples of digital signals. So as I've said earlier, digital signals have a finite uh, number of levels. So here, there are two possible levels. For this one, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So most of the time, digital, signals le digital signal levels comes in the formula of 2 raised to n. So 2 raised to 0 is 2, 2 raised to 3 is 8 here. So we can also have digital signals with 2 raised to 4, 16, 2 raised to 5, 32, and 2 raised to 6, uh, 64, and so on. So uh, digital, lev digital signal level are basically has the formula of 2 raised to n. Then... Um, So for a digital signal with two levels, so we just uh, have a level of high and a level of low. So uh, a high a high logic level most of the time has 5 volts. The low logic level has 0. And for the true or false, so high would result to true and low is equal to false for on and off uh, high is on and low is off and for log uh, binary 0 and 1 1 is high 0 is low so let us have an example of two level binary signal so the time the signal is high or th can vary uh, anywhere from 1% of the period to the 99% of the period so this is an example of a two level digital signal so uh, low is 0 and high is 5. So, for this example, the first example, the time high is this one. 
For the second example, the time high is this one. And both for the third one, the time high is this one. So among the three, the longest time high would be on the third example. So the same with analog signal. Digital signals also have some parts. So here, the this is the amplitude of the digital signal. So this is the time high, the time low. And also, uh, if, a sig if a signal has two level, it has also a period. So the period is the time before it repeats. So after this signal, it will repeat here. So therefore, this is the period. So also the frequency is the reciprocal of that period. So these are the parts of digital signals. So amplitude. So the amplitude here is 5 volts here. So the period here and the frequency is the reciprocal of that period. Time high here and uh, time low here. Duty cycle. This is the ratio of uh, time high to the total period. So this is the formula for duty cycle. So we put the time high in the numerator and the period in the denominator and we multiply it by 100%. So duty cycle is uh, usually expressed in percentage. So rising edge is from uh, 0 to 1 and falling edge is uh, 1 to 0. So this is the rising edge so from 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 and the falling edge is from 1 to 0 so oscilloscope the oscilloscope is a piece of electronic test equipment that is used to capture and measure time varying signals both analog and digital so basically an oscilloscope is uh, an electronic test equipment that is used to display both analog and digital signals example this is a display of a digital signal in an oscilloscope so in an oscilloscope there will be some settings like here scale of exposition this is exposition so 2 milliseconds for division so it means that for every line we have 2 milliseconds so 2 milliseconds 2 milliseconds 4 milliseconds 6 milliseconds and so on so for every division we have 2 milliseconds and for the y position here the vertical we have also 2 volts per division it means that from here to here that's 2 volts from here to here, 4 volts and 6 volts and so on. Using this graph, we can uh, determine the following information for the digital signal shown. So, 1 is amplitude, uh, number 2 is uh, period, and number 3 frequency, time high, time low, and duty cycle. So, if we would uh, determine the amplitude, so that would be the Y position here. So, let us count how, how many volts do we have for the amplitude so if this is 2 volts 4 volts and it took another half so 2 4 and 5 so therefore our amplitude is 5 so for the period so that's for the x-axis so this signal repeats so it's periodic so therefore the period is from here up to here so our period is 2 volt, uh, 2 milliseconds, 4 milliseconds, 6 milliseconds, up to 8 milliseconds. Our period is 8 milliseconds. So now let us uh, determine the frequency. So our frequency is uh, the, the reciprocal of our period. So our period is 8 milliseconds. So we just solved that. So this one, so amplitude is 5, so 2, 4, and 5, 5 volts. So our period is 2, 4, 6, and 8, so that's uh, 8 milliseconds. For frequency, we just uh, get the reciprocal of 1 of uh, one all over 8 milliseconds, so 1 all over 8 milliseconds is 125 hertz. So our frequency has the unit of hertz. It means cycles per second.
So 125 hertz, it means that for every second, this signal will repeat 125 times. So for 2 seconds, we have uh, uh, 250 repetition of signal. Okay, for time high, so this is the, the duration for time high. So that's 2, 4, and 4.8. So, that's time high. Time low is 2 and that's 3.2. So, for duty cycle, we have the formula of time high over period. So, our time high is 4.8 all over our uh, period which is 8 milliseconds. And we multiply that by 100%. So, if we do that, we get 60%. It means that our time high is 60% of the whole period. So, period measurement, so earlier our period is uh, 8 milliseconds, so we just counted that. So, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, that's our period. Everywhere around us, sometimes we can see some signals and maybe we can identify if they're analog or digital. So, for example number 1, so volume control on a radio so when you are trying to control the volume of a radio you turn it up or you turn it down so what kind of signal that is so that is a that is an analog kind of signal because um, it has a range that you can turn it up and turn it down so for example number two so traffic lights so for traffic lights we have only three uh, we have only most of the time three numbers of colors so the red the green and the yellow so if we can count the number of levels that that signal the traffic lights have then we can consider that as digital signal the third one is the motor bike throttle so if you already experienced riding a motorbike then uh, you're trying to speed it up or speed it down. It's just like the volume control of a radio. So this is also an example of an analog signal. Number four is the dimmer switch. So dimmer switch is a basic uh, electronic component. So this is a switch that uh, almost the same as a uh, volume control or motor bike throttle. So dimmer switch, you can turn it up, you can turn it down. So, this is also an example of analog signal. So, another one is the light switch. So, in our home, we have some light switches. So, you just uh, turn it on or off. So, this is a digital signal. So, another one is the water tap. So, when uh, you, you're you using a faucet so or a water tap, you can make the water flow fast or you can make the water flow slow. So, you can control you can control that so therefore it is also an example of an analog signal music on a cd so music can be uh, coded into a cd so that's an example of digital signal but music on a tape like the magnetic tape recorder like vhs and some old tapes for our radio so that's an example of analog signal so just to summarize so volume control is for analog traffic light is for digital motor bike throttle is for analog dimmer switch is also for analog light switch is for digital water tap is for analog music on a cd is digital and music on a tape is analog also so there you go